Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Clouk here and I am super excited to be sharing a video using Alt New products. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Painted Butterfly Stamp Set as the main focus of my card and I'm also going to be using a sentiment from the Sentiments and Quote Stamp Set. So to start off, I'm going to be using my Mini Misty Stamping Tool and that's just because I want to double stamp each of these um, butterfly images. I like to make sure that my ink is really nice and saturated into the paper and the Misty allows me to easily do that. Now you don't need to use a Misty for this card. You can just simply stamp once or because they're clear you can stamp one on top of another and just be able to see through the stamps. It's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to leave quite a bit of white space on this card. I want the focus to be on the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to be doing three butterflies in this design. Now I absolutely love the Alt New dye inks and I really wanted to create some butterflies butterflies that had a gray base with some pops of color on top. I really love the color gray and I just think it pairs so well with corally colors. So I thought it would work perfectly with the ruby red and the coral berry inks. So I first stamped all of my butterfly bases with three of the shades of the gray inks. I used the little gray ink cubes. And now that I have the bases, I'm going ahead and stamping the detail with the coral inks. I'm using the ruby red for the two darkest gray and then the coral berry for the lightest gray. And then to finish off the butterflies, I'm just stamping the outline areas with black ink. And I absolutely love the artistic, beautiful look that these butterflies have to them when they're done. It makes you look like an absolute artist and it's just simply stamping the images. I love Alt New for that reason because they create stamps that allow us to look like we actually know what we're doing on this paper and creating beautiful images. So I stamped all of my butterflies and I love how they turned out. I love the gray. I love the little pop of color. And I decided to stamp my sentiment kind of nestled right in between the two largest butterflies. I used the You Are My Happy Place sentiment, which is one of my favorites. I just think it's a beautiful sentiment and pairs perfectly with these butterflies. And now that I've taken it out of the Misty, you can see the great um, detail these butterflies have. They just look so beautiful on the white cardstock. I love them. So because I wanted the butterflies to be the main focus on the card, I didn't want to put too much embellishments or detail on the card design, but I definitely think it needed a little bit more than just the butterflies on the white. So I'm just folding a gray piece of cardstock here. This is a top folding card base. And I've trimmed down my butterfly panel just a bit so that I have some area on the right hand side. And I'm going to add a piece of striped pattern paper there. I'm going to use a black and white striped diagonal piece. This is just a piece I had in my stash. And I love having that pop of black and white on the side of a card. It's one of my favorite ways to kind of embellish a card that I want to keep semi-simple so that the focus stays on the panel. But it just adds that pop of black that blends perfectly with the outline areas of those butterflies. So I added that onto the card base and then I'm going to adhere the butterfly panel directly on top. But because there's so much, even though it's kind of simple, there's a lot of detail in those stripes. I feel like the butterflies kind of go right into the stripes and you kind of lose the separation between the panel and then that stripe piece. So to kind of break them up a little bit, I like to add a little strip of cardstock or glitter paper in between. So for this card here, I'm going to use silver glitter paper and I'm just cut it down pretty thin and put some liquid glue on the back. And now I'm just kind of butting it up against that panel piece and pushing it in place so that I can adhere it down. And then I just trimmed down the excess so it fit on the card front. And then to finish the card, I just decided I wanted to add a few clear sequins because I usually do. I'm kind of addicted to them. And I always like to add silver stickles into the center area to finish off those sequins. As a finishing touch, I decided that I needed a tiny bit more sparkle on this card. So I decided to add some glitter, um, clear glitter sparkle pen just to the coral areas on the butterflies. I didn't want to add it to the gray or anywhere else. I just wanted a tiny bit of sparkle just on the red areas so that when it tilts in the light, the butterfly wings kind of shine. So I added that sparkle to all the areas and then that is going to complete my card for today. Thank you so much to Alt New for having me as a guest designer and thank you so much for watching today's video.